Today we are looking at the Prime 91 Icon Sadov. He's 5 foot 9, medium, medium, 4 star, 4 star. He can play right mid, left mid, and cam. So we've got some nice positions there in terms of chemistry. He has got really good balance, composure, short pass, long pass, short power, okay finishing, okay acceleration, sprint speed, and as well as ball control. As mentioned, in terms of traits, we haven't got anything too crazy there. We'll talk about chem styles, pricing, and much more at the end of the review and his best positions and what I thought of the card. I've gone for a Hawk today to boost up his pace and as well as his finishing and shot power. That being said, let's have a word from today's sponsor and then jump into some gameplay. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Night, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So we're saved off today, we are going to be playing in a 4 triple 2 He's going to be playing right mid slash striker slash cam. If you don't know how the formation works, I've done it in a lot of objectives that explains how it works. And that's going to be his main role. We normally have Jarzinho there. And I did review his base on the channel that is saved off a little while ago now. I never got hands on the mid, so he went straight to prime. And his base card was so good at the time of recording. As we get one of the ball now, oh, he feels rapid in terms of dribbling. Statistically, I think this card does seem to be suited as an actual cam more than anything. As we get him on a ball here, a bit of step over. One more, one more. Oh. Okay, so again, in terms of linking up skill, not the greatest. But his main role for us today is basically... His ability to hit on the counter-attack, his link-up play, and if we get a chance to get through on goal, of course, can he finish? Tackle from my opponent there. Van Seydorf, straight away into the position. Back out to Seydorf, can take a heavy touch. Little ball roll in. More skill, left stick, shoot across goal if we can, and what a finish. And this is what I like about these type of players. Because we've gone for a Hawk, it's going to boost up his shot power. That means he can absolutely smash it across goal. He's very good at doing the step over into the drag as well, which helps out in terms of a speed boost. And that's what that's exactly what we need him to do out wide there as we push him into the space. We'll go if we pull him through, can we find it? That's a poor pass from me in the end. Maybe force that a bit too much. But again, out wide, using that high defensive statistics as well to win the ball. Looking for the space, looking for the space. Nowhere to go, not a problem. Good left stick dribbling from him. Played off here. Bit of skill to get past. Again, lovely turn. Ball in to Politano, and there is assist as well. And that's going to be a raise pit by the looks of it. Ten minutes in, a goal and assist. We can't ask for much more at the start. Something that I really like about Sadov off the start is his left stick responsive dribbling. It's so good. Executing skill moves, he is absolutely lightning fast. Haven't noticed any problems. Maybe getting into full speed is a little bit of an issue at times. But that could be down to heavy gameplay. Who knows? We will go jump into a second game now. So into the second game then, so far so good from Sadov. Like I said, his responsiveness on the dribble in terms of doing skill moves as well. The animation so quick. Great little one-twos, bad defender from our opponent. We're going to try and drive past. Sadov, oh, it's a bad yellow time shot from me. We have got a corner, so we'll have a look at his statistics from set pieces. So he's got 99, 85, 84, and 93 pens. So we're going to try the outside the foot shot. I don't know if he can do it because he doesn't technically have the trait. But it doesn't mean he can't. That's a poor pass from her. Stayed up again, though, working defensively, but a ball rolled into him. Right, here we go. Stayed up, picks a ball up, looking for options. Going to drive into that space. Little one-two again. Back round. First time shot, and off the crossbar and in. He's got a really powerful shot. And again, that's another reason why we went for Hawk, to really maximize the power. Once you learn how to shoot with players with high power, you can literally smash it in off the bar. Almost 9 out of 10 times there. He is really clinical when it's not down to me making a mistake in finishing. And this card is very, very good. Like always, very, very underrated in this game. That's a poor foot left foot pass from me. But he does the job so well. Again, Sadov here. To do a power shot. Bang. And that's what I mean. Powerful shots of him. Another raise quit. He's so good at doing those. And that's something that's very, very impressive. We will go jump into another game now and test out his passing a little bit more. So into our final game for the review today. We are playing against two players this time on a bit of a lucky or unlucky sort of search. Like I was saying, we're going to be trying out Sados passing a bit more in this game. We have had really good success in terms of attacking with him, but I want to push him forward and see what his pass is like, especially against two players. A lot of people ask me, why do I play in classic match? I am basically in the top skill rating of the elite division. And if you don't know how that is up there, as we do get him through, good save. You know how that is? People play basically really far drop back and just the same meta players over again. 
Yes, I am also one of those players, but to do reviews on certain players in that division is the only gameplay you would see would probably be about three or four minutes of actual in-game play, and the rest would be just me talking about the card. So I do these in Classic Match because it doesn't take a game off the card, so they're actually going to keep their value because people like to look for... Uh, but outside the foot short, people like to have cards that haven't had games on. Don't ask me why, I just do. So that's why I do them here, especially with icons, because they drop value so quick. And I do lose a lot of coins doing a lot of these icon reviews. So I just wanted to clear that up a little bit. So we are playing against two people. Really test out Sados pass. And you can see, though, already in, we've had quite good opportunities of him. I pick out Sados at the top. Lovely ball from Cruz. Can we play Sados through? Oh, good defensive move. But we've got him open again now. Hard through ball. What a pass and what a touch. Dover with the goal there, Sadov with the assist, and with the assist there from Sadov, exactly what we need him to do. This card is such a good card. I do think he's more suited for uh, a direct sort of play, so way more narrow, has more of a camera, box-to-box -box centre mid. But even out wide, he's doing a very good job for us, like here, for example. Lovely ball in. Gone for the early shot there from Politano, very unlucky. Sadov out wide, gonna play it back in, do a little one-two to get him into space. Drive in, Marquisio. Sadov going to drive down and cut it back. Lovely cutback and a lovely assist there for Sadov again. This card is so clinical. In terms of his ability to pass, his left stick dribbling, and of course his finishing that we've already seen. He is really good. He's definitely a top tier icon for his price as well. We find ourselves there. Lovely left stick dribble. A bit of skill there. Couldn't quite get away from uh, Alba, unfortunately. Space. Sadov at the top. Got Govu in between the lines. Terrible defender from our opponent. And again, another assist there. I think we've seen enough gameplay. Let's go jump onto Footbin. So we are on Footbin. He's about 248k at the minute. I think I paid 250 for him or around 245. I can't remember exactly. I do think his price will drop a little bit more than that eventually when we get prime icons in terms of an SBC. I really like the card. Even with his stocky build that he has, he still felt really responsive with his left stick dribbling because of that balance and agility. I um, In terms of actual accelerate, he's on control, and we put a hawk on him to make him lengthy and to basically boost up that shot power, which you saw. You saw three games today. I don't normally show that many games, but I wanted to really show you his shooting and then his pass inside as well as his dribbling. I also played a couple more games that weren't in the review to really fill the card. And I do stand by what I said. He is a box-to-box -box centre mid or a cam in that role. Yes, he can play out wide, but he does feel a little bit wasted out there, especially with some of the wingers we have. I do highly recommend playing him in that role. If you're on old gen, this doesn't really matter too much to accelerate. And you're probably going to be looking for maybe a hunter just to maximise the pace and finish in. Or even an engine to boost up the agility and balance if you're going to play him as a cam and the passing. But overall, this card is extremely underrated for what he offers. He's so, so good at playing that role. Can he play striker? He probably can, but he'll be inconsistent. Yes, he can play winger, but the same situation, a little bit inconsistent as well. But as a box-to-box -box centre mid, he is one of the best for that price range as well, what he offers. Because he's five foot nine, he looks bigger on the pitch because he always seems to get in the way as well. Even though his defensive stats aren't the best, you want him more in attacking role, of course. I'd imagine some people would probably want to put a shadow on him. I personally just wouldn't bother. Maximize the stats you're going to use him for. Don't boost up the stats that he might be okay at. Definitely go for the, the finishing. Having that shot power, like I mentioned, means he can rifle it into the corners, no problem. Especially with the 80 plus or 85 plus finishing. He just offers you so much. In terms of prices, I do think the card will drop a lot more, like I mentioned. Especially when we get a prime guaranteed prime icon SBC. Or team of the year, etc. like that. So I would be careful about buying this card at the minute. Sadov seems to be the card that always drops in price. If you were to compare him to his mid or his base. His mid has got plus 2 on pace. But plus, minus 3 on passing and shooting. Again, 300,000 coins. So he's actually more. And I'm guessing that's down because of his defensive abilities. Obviously being a bit more rounded. Whereas his base, again, is minus 6s on a lot of things. But plus 3 on pace. All very similar cards. So I think if you wanted to buy his base, I would look at saving just a little bit more to get his prime. And then you've got yourself a really good card. I think his mid's probably the better one, but I do like his prime a lot. That being said, if you have any more questions about this card or any other card in the game, comment down below. If you are new to the channel and you love icon reviews or player reviews, pack openings and much more, I've got it all on here. Hit that like button and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.